guys welcome back to acting confident with natalie marie how are y'all i asked on instagram whether you wanted a two-part vlog or a very long vlog because i had so much footage which i didn't realize i was going to have and you guys asked for two parts so here is the first part basically this month or the first part of this month i was very into this 12 week challenge that me and my friends were doing and i was sharing my troubles that I was having along the way with the fact that I didn't see any progression and how much stress it was putting on my body and my mind and um, I decided to change that mentality and change my tactic and just really listen to my body and eat intuitively and just see how that went. I talked a lot about my, my workouts like Pilates and how beneficial it is for me and guys I got a new job so if you want to hear about all that please keep watching and if you make it through to the end that means so much to me um, it really gets my watch time up and makes YouTube recommend this vlog and my channel and just help me guys just help me anyway I sorry I look like a ghost I haven't got any makeup on I'm going about to go to rehearsals soon um, and that's what I'm going to make one, so, you know. Hope you enjoy part one of July. Bye. Sorry about the lighting. Sorry about how horrible I look. It is currently 7.40 a.m. I got up early because I am taking my car to get serviced. And when I woke up, everything was so dark. I literally thought, I'm like, did my alarm go off right or did I still wake up at 5.20 a.m.? I'm a bit sniffly. I'm hoping I'm not getting a cold because my dad had one and I'm like, I hope I didn't get one. I'm going to be real with you guys. So this 12-week challenge that I have been doing has been a bit of a struggle. Now, I'm not one to like really care about scales and stuff. I prefer going by how I feel because I understand that muscle is four times heavier than fat but takes a quarter of the space. So I kind of understand that as I build muscle, the number on the scale might not even change. What's been happening lately, and I've been a little bit discouraged, and I don't know if it's because, as, I've told, as I told you last month, I wasn't feeling very great mentally. Just not feeling myself and like, you know, everything just ugh, gross. I can go to the gym, I can eat healthy. First of all, you, 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 you made really good results like in the first couple of weeks and you're like yeah counting calories is so cool because it works and blah blah, blah. now the thing is i've been doing everything right i've been counting my calories i haven't really gone over much there's been a couple of days out of last month that i went over but it wasn't even by much so really because i'm in a deficit it doesn't matter it's what i would be usually eating anyway but at the same time i feel like i'm not hitting my protein it's very hard to hit this, it's very hard to hit that unless I'm really eating just meat. Counting calories is good to show awareness of what you're eating and how much you're actually eating. And like really when you put that Tim Tam in your mouth, you realize, is it really worth it? Um, and because of this challenge, I'm very um, competitive. Of course I want to win, but at the same time, I want something that's sustainable when I when I finished the challenge and that's what this challenge for me was ultimately about about finding something sustainable making good habits and everything I look in the mirror and I'm like yeah I can tell I've leaned out a bit and I don't know if you probably you guys probably haven't noticed but the scales are not saying that it's been a month now and I still haven't made the progress that I really want to make um, but that's okay. Last week was my birthday. Yeah, I ate cake. Yeah, I did this. I didn't go overboard like I would have done every other year uh, when I sought sugar so yeah I'm you know I'm quite proud of myself and I know this is a bit of a ramble but what I'm trying to say is I think I'm gonna change my tactic I just don't know what I'm doing wrong or not doing correctly or not doing efficiently probably is the right word I think I'm gonna just make sure that I think I'm gonna intuitive eat which I usually do but since doing this calorie thing I've been eating I've been kind of sometimes forcing myself to eat when I'm not hungry because I was like, shit, I should have a meal right now because it's lunchtime and I need to get this in and whatever. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be smart about it. I'm gonna listen to my body a little bit more because yesterday, honestly, I was starving. 
I was so hungry. I had drunk so much water. So I thought, okay, maybe I'm dehydrated. No, I was hungry. Like my body was like, give me some food. And I'm like, well, I can't give you food because then I won't have anything for lunch. But clearly my body needed some fuel and I didn't listen to it. And I was just very tired and gloopy and just very not myself. I think if I just stay away from unprocessed foods and just get my protein, fats and you know, and those micronutrients in the carbs, I think I'll be okay. So I'm gonna try that. We'll see how that goes. What I have for breakfast right now, I have whole grain, I guess they're flakes, they're from Freedom Foods. There's some pepitas, so that has, your, uh, that has some fiber and protein in it. I have full cream milk, so that has some protein in it. And a bit more of protein balanced meal for lunch, I reckon. Um, I have some chickpeas as a snack, very good source of protein and a source so, of protein. So, um, my friends and I, we play COD, you know, Call of Duty, whatever you want to call it. And I haven't played in years, so I'm very rusty, don't really know how to play um, at all, don't know how to control anything. Yeah, typical. But, um, so my brother's like, do the campaign so you can learn the moves and all that stuff and... That's what I started. I was just watching the story behind it all because, you know, me, I'm an actor, I love good story. And uh, now, like, what I'm on, like, I'm in the middle of a war and I've only got a gun between me and my enemy and, like, I'm, I'm connected to this thing. I'm terrified. <laughs> I'm absolutely terrified of playing. <laughs> I don't know why. It's <laughs> just a game. Wow. But whenever like I watch my friend play, that would be so crazy if it was real. And the thing is, it is real. People are, I'm not going to make this a big thing, but like, you know, people go to war all the time and they have guts, that's for sure. Well, good news is I didn't die. I thought I was, I thought I was going to get demolished. But no, I have a, there's guys coming up to stab me and like, and I shot them and stabbed them back and I can understand why. You sit there and you're plugged into a PlayStation game and you're just sitting there for like hours. Because I totally forgot that I had to print something off. Hey, I learned how to kind of curl my hair. Kind of. I mean, it's not the greatest. Does this look kind of natural? Or does this look a little shitty? I tried. It's like I'm a teenager all over again when I'm like, oh, I found a curling wand that can actually help me kind of get the look that my headshots look like. Because, you know, when you walk into an audition, you kind of want to look like your headshots. I have just finished filming a video. This is my filming camera. Oh, what is that? Not lovely. Uh, it is a Canon and it's a EOS 600D or it's a T3i Rebel. Um, I've had this baby for a few years now, probably since 2013. So what does that make it? <gasps> Damn, six years. I'm getting old. Wow. But yeah, I've had it for six years. It's been great throughout doing YouTube and different little projects and whatever. Um, today I have done a video on how to start acting or get into acting for free or on the cheap. So um, that's great. I just found it really exciting to do videos like that. And um, I know a few of my other videos have been about turning 25 and certain self-esteem issues and all that sort of thing. But I also want to sprinkle in like acting videos that are because you know I'm an actor so I've gone through some things that might be helpful for you guys to know if that is what you're interested in or if that's what you want to or if that's the career you want to get into. I'm kind of looking tan but I'm kind of looking grotty and I swear to you that this is not what my skin colour looks like in real life. As you can see no more progress has been made on this. Um... But I have taken photos and I'm going to put them up onto Gumtree today. So that's cool. Um, hopefully we can get some money for this and then start kind of going through these boxes on what we actually really need. Good morning. Oh God, I didn't. I was not prepared to do this stretch. This was not part of the script. No. Anyway, so today I was supposed to go to the gym. You know, wake up at 8, go to the gym at 9. But um, my body has other other plans. 
painting, can't be bothered. You can cough, Mum, it's a natural thing. <coughs> it just means you're on camera. <laughs> so I'm going to work out here at home. And when I do that, oh, thanks, Mum, for opening this so it's warm. Oh, such a beautiful day. I usually do Pilates and Blogilates is my favourite because she's just so funny and so just hilarious and it makes, you know, the torture all that much nicer, I guess. We are in such a cool apartment in downtown LA right now. You have to see this. There is like a bookcase over there that looks like it's straight out of Union V's. Oh my gosh. Rick and Laura, just singles right now. Okay, four on one side. Let's go. Four, three, two, one, and four. Let me see those fingers. Okay, give me eight. a lot harder than I remember. I used to do Pilates every single day and I didn't realize how strong that had made me but since having not done Pilates every single day I am so weak like you think because I've gone to the I go to the gym probably like four to five days a week if I'm being honest and um, you know I can lift heavier than usual like heavier than I have ever lifted before um, you know I can totally see that I'm making progress on my bench press progress on my deadlifts progress on my comp like just and even my compound movements and uh, my form and everything but then <laughs> you make me do this and uh, it's like strength who that strength in the gym is not the same strength that you use for Pilates. I think with Pilates you're using so many different little muscles that you kind of would not think you were using and it's a lot of body movement so it's just uh, I really like it but I think I have to start to like implement Pilates in my workout a lot more because I think it'll be better for my dancing and just to know and learn control of my body and you know whatever Oh my god, so I exfoliated my face and um, I have this charcoal bar in the, the um, shower and I was exfoliating it and then, you know, washing it off and some went up my nose and down my throat and it really feels like I've just drink salt water, like, accidentally when you're at the beach. Like, it feels like that. It's drinking heaps of water. Now I've got a face mask on. Now I'm sitting down to edit this video. Uh, not this video. A video. I have started using Music Bed, um, which is um, a subscription, which is only like 10 bucks a month. So like, that's like, that's less than Netflix. Okay, hopefully you can hear me. So I'm going for an interview at the moment and I just parked and to find parking here in South Yarra is really hard so there's a parking garage probably like I don't know 50 meters up there and for three hours it's like $48 um, so I went a little further down and the parking garage where I parked is $10 early bird $12 early bird actually if you park before 10 a.m. and my interviews at 10 a.m. and I'm like 50 meters like why how do they justify the prices if I'm paying $12 for a full day and then I'd pay 40 something dollars, nearly $50 for like a couple of hours. I think that's ridiculous. I just got back from my interview and I got an email literally an hour later saying that I got the job, which is great. Then I had to figure out my schedule. I literally just use Google Calendar. I feel like it just works really well with my phone. Um, and I had to schedule in my different jobs because now that I'm doing two jobs, I had to kind of figure out where to put them all. Both are very flexible jobs. I'm very grateful. I'm gonna have a meeting with my boss tomorrow just to let her know what's going on in my life. Apparently August is gonna be a very, very interesting month, a very, very busy month. I have, um, I have the play that I'm doing and those performances are Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night. 
all throughout August. So I needed to figure out what's my schedule going to look like, how I'm going to put out some YouTube videos. And also in there, I have to have time to exercise and have time to myself to just be okay because I know if I overwork myself, I do get sick. I also called a bunch of people about accountants. Tax time is here, guys. So accountants for business owners and how much tax I have to put away and how much um, super I have to put in and all that sort of jazz. All these little errands popped up. So that's the thing, I need a flexible workplace because I need to be able to move things around really easily because there's just too much. And if you whack an audition in there, damn, I've got to be there. But that's why working remotely and being a virtual assistant, I didn't even know that was a thing. I don't know who told me about it. But I ended up, oh no, that's right, I watched a YouTube video um, about this YouTuber who had so many remote jobs and or jobs at home that, you know, can get you a good buck. And I was like, look, I have all this admin, project managing, data entering experience from all my other jobs that I've had over the last, like, eight years. Let me use that <laughs> into something to get me some bacon. I'm in the car now. I'm about to go to dance and uh, dancing, singing. I filmed that thing four times. Four times, guys. I don't really know why I filmed it four times. I just, I kept talking about it and I was trying to make it instructional and structured and it just felt false. So I ended up just doing a story time because I'm like, I just want to chat to the camera. I just want to chat about this one thing to the camera and how you guys gauge it. And I want to start a discussion topic about it. And hopefully, I don't know, people actually discuss it. Um, but I'm about to go to singing. I don't think my singing's gonna go very good. I have a new singing teacher because my other singing teacher just had a baby. Congratulations, Janae. Your baby looks so cute. And um, so I'm going to start with this new singing teacher called Lisa. And I hope it goes well. But unfortunately for her very first time, she has got me when my voice is feeling not quite there. I don't know, I think I am coming down with something and I really hope I'm not.